okay this is the last video um, and it is on um, just some planning right just some basic planning as to what's going on and let's just look at what's going on so we're just really analyzing what we were saying and the bits that are important for you really if, if just because you're better at it now you should be able to sort of see what's going on here um, group belief is flexible so the, the, the moral of this story here is this, because group belief is flexible, you want to be able to, if you, you can surrender, you want to think, okay, if I want to take back, the problem was when I took back losses last year, I would have to do an, uh, an all or nothing to carry back. You carry back this thing and it would always waste your QCDs. Group belief says, okay, make sure you send back a loss that's you can give some loss to your whatever your other company your whoever the claimant is take back enough of a loss so that it just wipes out your other profits so there's enough well when i say wipes out so it wipes out um, the, a certain amount of the profit so that there's enough of the other profits left to be used against the QCDs of that prior year. So you don't have to waste your QCDs anymore. Group, group relief. So you can almost fix the amount. You know, you can plan it so that there's enough loss to just wipe out what's going on here. There's enough profit left to then use against the QCDs of this year. That's really the moral of the story. That's what this question is really about avoiding the wastage of QCDs, right? <clears throat> Remember that you don't have to use your trading losses against your um, your own profits, um, first of all, if you like, so you can give that, um, but of course the, the, the rules still apply to what you have in terms of what you can in terms of QCDs in your own year. And um, profits in your own year. Sorry, uh, yes, property losses in your own year first. Okay, let's sort of see a question. So we'll see where they're going. I might leave you to finish this, but I think it's I'll start it. So what are we saying here? So you have 726. The moral of the story here is this: I want to make sure that when I it says this that Hertz and Hertz has a hundred percent subsidiary which has a hundred thousand. So we're not complaining. Well, the argument here is once upon a time you would have had to give 726 and then you would have carried back one year one, and then if you like lost. No, no, no. Um, give them a loss. Give enough. Use, use some here. Give these, guys, give these guys a loss but give carry back in effect 3, 6, 7, 200 plus 91, 400 Plus eleven thousand nine hundred minus twenty eight thousand one hundred. Give carry back this loss, so that you have twenty eight thousand one hundred of profits left in this year to use against this. So you don't waste that. That's really the moral of the story, right? So you can fix this. You can set this so that you're able to clear this, um, and then carry back enough. And then give them the rest. Please do. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of guiding you how to do it, but without doing it, doing the full thing. Work out a figure. Do this minus this. You now think, okay, great. This is what I'm going to carry back. Then I'm going to use this, and then whatever's left is what I'm going to give these guys, my claimant. Right? I mean, you don't have to use it against this, but why not? If you like, you want. It says you want to enhance cash flow as soon as possible. So why why pay tax on this? So um. So, so do it that way. Cool, great stuff. And that brings us to the end of this, this thing on groups. So practice this. Please play around with this. And um, you should kind of get better at it. I'm going to go through this chapter again in class. But this should give you a head start into doing questions um, in, the, in the kit, if you like. So technically, we have now finished um, we have now finished groups as far as trading is concerned. The rest of the chapter carries on with with capital gains, but if we haven't looked at capital gains just yet, we'll be doing that. Um, cool, thank you.